I'm back. The daily upload schedule is back on track. If y'all don't know, I went on vacation. Not really vacation, just a friend's trip to another city. But but yeah, I'm back. The whole time I was on the trip, all I was thinking about was YouTube, 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 YouTube. Because there were so many great fights happening. Anthony Joshua versus Usyk too, which I already reacted to and gave my opinions on my channel. Go check it out. Then we had we had this fight. We had a lot of fights. We had a lot of fights. Not only just fights, but great fights. But this is crazy because I, I did not watch the fight or the highlights, but I know the outcome because I've seen it. But you know what's so crazy was before, like two hours before the fight, I was talking with my friend who we were at the hotel. And I was talking to him. I was telling him. I'm telling him. I was telling him. I feel like Usman's going to lose. He was like, stop jinxing Usman. Stop jinxing Usman. I, I, I'm a Nigerian as well. I'm Nigerian. I wanted Usman to, to win. But I could feel it in my heart that Edwards was coming out there with something to prove. When someone has something to prove, no matter how hard you hit them, they're not going down. No ma when, when someone has something to prove, they're going to come at you like a train. I feel like because he lost, I felt like because he lost the first fight, he came out there with something to lose, with something to prove. You know what I'm saying? Usman already won. I feel like Usman, it's just, it's just sad. It's sad. It's sad because I, let's just get into it. Not my guy. Usman is my guy. That's my boy. UFC 278, Usman versus Edwards 2 took place Saturday, August 20th. What do you think about the arena in Salt Lake City, Usman Utah? Steroids. This is one of the most thrilling and highly anticipated rematches when UFC welterweight champion Kamaru Usman defends his title against one of his toughest opponents and number two ranked contender Leon Rocky Edwards. Let's talk Usman versus Edwards. The number two ranked UFC welterweight. Leon Rocky Edwards, 19-3-1. His name's Rocky. Out of Birmingham, England. Rocky Marciano, Rocky Graziano. By dethroning Usman and capturing UFC gold. Edwards possesses a very well-rounded skill set, but loves using his stand-up to pick you apart with all of his impressive weapons. And he is very sneaky with his slicing elbows from the clinch, which is giving his opponents problems thus far. Edwards has improved a great deal like since the last match something. and brings in much more skill and experience this time and around. And that's the thing about being but at the top. Side of the octagon, you, you have, have to watch out for these underdogs. Champion. Imagine I placed a bet on Edwards. Pound fighter in the world. Oh my Kamaru god, I would have made bear bang. Also, an AJ fight, I knew AJ was going to lose. I, I also said it in my video before, like in my prediction video. I remember Canelo versus the vault. I knew the vault was going to lose. I'm actually three for three right now. Damn, what's up? hasn't lost since May of 2013. That is incredible. Usman is a powerful wrestler that uses his strikes to close the gap on his opponents. He takes them down and ground and pounds them and looks for smothering finishes. But over time, he has developed into a solid stand-up fighter with real knockout power, the, which the, makes him even more Where's dangerous. the fight? I want to see the fight. Quick note, Edwards' 10-fight UFC unbeaten streak at welterweight is the second longest active streak in the division behind Usman at 15, and I can't wait for these two fighters to collide. Tonight's betting odds have, have Usman coming in at a big minus 320 favorite, and Edwards comes in at a plus 260 underdog. Imagine and I here's how it went him. down. Round one started and Usman secured a takedown, but Edwards back up. Usman clearly wants his fight to I'm the guessing ground, he's not putting the fight because Edwards. copyrights. But Edwards surprisingly gets a slick trip takedown right into the mouth Ooh, and take Usman's back looking for a rear naked choke. As the and what I heard is that Usman was winning the fight, two, like Usman winning the whole, winning the fight before the knockout. That's the thing about combat sports. But Edwards stayed calm. All it takes Both is one hit, one nice kick, shots, one elbow. Usman That's all you need. Fresher. Usman was started to dominate this fight with this incredible pressure and vicious pace. And Edwards looked like he was starting to break a little bit. But in round five, with Usman completely dominating the fight, Leon Edwards lands a left high kick to the head of Usman that puts the champ out cold. Wow. I saw the clip. Leon Edwards defeats Kamaru That's what makes Usman it worse. It was UFC not just a knockout. It was a bad knockout. He was sleep. He, he got bonus for his work. He All right, folded. here's my final thoughts. Guys, coming into this fight, there was a lot of questions that needed to be answered for both fighters. The biggest question we all had was who made more improvements from their last fight? Edwards has been on a meteoric rise, and Usman has become one of the greatest fighters we have seen in the welterweight division, and this fight did not disappoint. Usman has weaponized his cardio and brings in such a wicked pace, Good breaking cool his opponents. 
But in this game, you have 25 Damn, minutes you got jump that have nearly perfect. And Edwards yeah. never Usman gave up. Usman's striking is pretty good, I'm not going to lie. IQ, I think that's what he has. Left high and also his takedowns. We have ever seen. His takedowns are not top to tier, Usman, but they're decent. As he could before that kick. Usman has He's been an big. incredible champion, but the night belongs to the Leon Edwards. Sometimes you just have to find a way to win, and Edwards did just that tonight and showed why he is now a champion. All right, here's some quick stats. That has to be a third fight. He is now I'm not going to lie. I feel like the third champion. fight is going to be the best one. He is on an 11th fight one. unbeaten streak, undefeated since his loss to Usman in 2015. He has seven wins by knockout, three by submission. He now holds wins over Nate Diaz, Rafael de Sanos, Vincent Luque, and now Kamara Usman. Okay, what's next for Edwards? The boss Dana White said maybe a rematch at Wembley Stadium for the trilogy fight, which would be. be insane. You took kind of there an unprecedented to step this week and said, hey, if Leon you know, wins, we probably got to do a rematch. Do you still believe yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, how do you not do, fuck, Wembley. I mean, I don't know, yeah. I was gonna ask, you want to do it in England? I mean, ideally, would you want to do it in England? Yeah. Usman is arguably the greatest welterweight champion we have seen, and with him being as dominant as he was tonight, you have to give him the rematch. Guys, let me know in the comments tonight what you thought of Edwards' fight and his performance, and who you think he should fight next. Look at you on the screen. Shout out to all Get out the fans. screen. Guys, don't forget to smash that like button. This is Jay Cat with MMA Weekly's The Lowdown Breakdown. See I don't you know if y'all see, but I have my Manchester United cap on. You know what I'm saying? They're playing tonight. I mean, they're playing today. Liverpool, they already scored one goal, so you know what I'm saying? They're one nil up right now, I'm pretty sure. God, please let them win. Please let them win. They're on like a they lost to shit teams, bro. How are you gonna lose? That's the thing about I hate about Manchester United. They lose against shit teams and then beat the big teams. What's wrong with you? What type of anyways? My thoughts on the fight. Damn, it sucks. It sucks for real. Because you know, after winning the whole fight, you just come and just get knocked out by one. But I'm not going to lie, that was a picture-perfect KO, though. Because if you watch, like, if, they didn't really show it there, but if you watch the knockout clip, um, Edwards, had, I think he had studied Usman's movement throughout the fight, and he threw a right hand, and Usman slipped to the left. He slipped right into the kick. I think that's why it was a knockout, because he slipped into the kick. So when he slipped into the kick, Edwards knew he was going to uh, slip to the left, and then he hit him with the left kick. That's what I think about. That's what I think about the knockout. That's what I think about the knockout. I'm gonna see y'all in another video. Peace. Damn, bad knockout. It sucks for real. I don't know what to say. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment your thoughts on the whole thing. I want to see comments. But guys, I appreciate the love I've been getting. You know, it's just great. My goal right now is 50 subs. But yeah, that's all I've been thinking about. I've just been thinking about making videos. I love that. I love making videos. And, you know, I hope y'all enjoy the journey. But what I'm, what I'm going to say is, y'all join the train right now. Y'all join it. Join it. Because when I'm at the top, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear, I've been watching you since this, 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 this. Subscribe right now to cement your part in the journey. I'm going to see y'all in another video. Peace.